This is a really outrageous thing that is just being done by big business again and trying to take advantage of uh, the Northwest when this isn't even a resource that's going to help our country. It's old and dirty and there's going to be lots of new technologies that take its place. So it's really just making money as quickly as possible to benefit the corporations and destroying the Northwest. We've already stopped one of them, right? We've stopped the, the one in Grays Harbor. And so this is, um, this is just beginning. And, um, you know, James Hansen, the, the great uh, NASA climatologist, has said that, that uh, coal is the biggest threat to, uh, to life on Earth. And, so, and we're ground zero. This is um, the exports that they want to bring through the Northwest will do just irreparable harm to not just to the communities here as they will but to the planet as a whole and so it's our this is our responsibility i don't want to be melodramatic but this is our historic responsibility that we have to stop coal exports coming through our neighborhoods two weeks ago i found out i uh, got some information on the coal uh, wanting to run eight trains through the back of my uh, neighborhood and I've been a resident here for uh, over 20 years. I've got a double lot. I cannot wrap my head around the fact that I won't be able to grow food in my own yard. I cannot, I just cannot. I've never been political. I've never called my representatives. But on this issue is bringing me out and it's getting me stirred up. And um, it's very easy to call your representative. Uh, I found that out and, um, and I'm just very passionate about this and it's great to see all my neighbors out here and this is my issue. We do need to make sure that the strategies going forward play to our distinctive strengths. And that includes having a reputation as a healthy and green place. And if we don't do something about coal trains coming through the city, then I'm worried we're going to impact not only that reputation, but also health and safety of our neighborhoods. And I'm glad there's people starting to raise awareness about it. Yeah, I'm here because I see uh, the coal train uh, proposal uh, and the possibility of the coal trains as you know one of many uh, assaults on the treaty rights of Northwest tribes. Um, it's going to have an incredibly damaging effect on the ecosystems of the Columbia River, on the salmon runs. It's also going to interfere with um, people's ability to fish in their usual and accustomed places. I'm uh, strongly opposed to the coal train because I believe that it's going to create a kind of mono economy. All the arguments about um, the economic development and jobs coming to the region I think are completely specious. I think instead what we're going to see is capital flight. We're going to see um, you know, people who can move out of the region and take their uh, jobs out of the region. Uh, there's going to be a lot of capital flight and job flight I think if this uh, proposal, if these multiple proposals go through. Um, and finally, I'm really concerned about the consolidation of political power that goes hand in hand with coal companies moving into a region. Um, you know, they, they I think, uh, really pose a major threat to kind of democratic process in the region when that kind of, uh, you know, money comes in and begins to influence public policy uh, on a whole spectrum of issues. I'm concerned about the use of coal and the shipment of coal through Oregon and we are in extreme need of an environmental study. Uh, I attended the Trans-Pacific Partnership Program uh, listening session with Senator Wyden, and we had people from the Sierra Club, Columbia River Keepers, Greenpeace, all come out and show their opposition to the use of a coal terminal in the port of Morrow. Within the Obama administration, we have had heightened levels of restriction off of this use of dirty and unsustainable fossil fuel resource. And I don't expect us Oregonians to settle for shipping this over to China when their coal terminals are all filled because everybody's trying to conserve electricity. Conservation is the way that we will create jobs and create an, a sustainable future for everyone. Our sustainable future is not through coal. I don't think anything is going to stop it. And I think before much longer, other counties like Morrow County will sell out for uh, some school assistance. And they'll be all lined up all along the Columbia and along the railroad tracks saying, bring in the coal. We really like that. 
if enough people get up and, and stand against it, yes, I do think it will be stopped. I've, um, I think it can be stopped. But what has happened in Morrow County is more likely to happen, namely, Klatsk and I will say, golly, we do need some school funds, and so they'll come out for it. I went to a seminar where a woman related her story about a coal train that was going on an uh, underpass just like this one. And she had an asthma attack for two weeks from the coal dust that blew off of it. So, you know, this is not a benign substance. This kills. My name is Tammy Magra, and I'm running for Columbia County Commissioner, position three, and I'm the only candidate that's uh, come out against coal, coal in Columbia County. We don't, we don't need coal. It's dirty. There's no such thing as clean coal. We don't need the acid rain, the mercury. When it's shipped out to China and it's burnt, it'll be coming back and it'll affect our health and our children's health. And it's not worth the proposed 50 jobs from here to Boardman for the coal. We'll lose more jobs from the coal than we will gain. It'll go clear through Columbia County. It divides the town. Our first responders will not be able to get across the tracks when there's an emergency. And uh, that could cost people their lives. The so present commissioners are for it. Um, like I said, I'm the only candidate running that's come out against coal. And I would say the majority of the people of Columbia County do not want coal. The specific reasons for myself is that breathing is my favorite activity. And um, I don't live here, although I used to. I used to live right over there, very close to the cut. But now I live near the Brooklyn Yards. So um, you, really in Portland, you're pretty close to a train wherever you are. And uh, so I'm, you know, the coal trains are going to affect me one way or another. What's that Bob Dylan song? You don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. <laughs> I've looked at coal. I've smelled coal. I've actually been on coal burning trains in the Soviet, well, in Russia. Um, and uh, no, it's not a good thing.